In this video, I want to talk about creating virtual hosts for your local development. So I'm a PHP developer and I'm sometimes working on multiple different sites um, at a time. And then sometimes sites will be finished and they'll get handed off to clients. And then I won't need them anymore, so I'll need to delete them. So just want to talk about a um, flexible way that um, I'm going to do this from now on. And what you're looking at right now is my host file. So we're in C Windows System32 slash drivers slash Etsy slash hosts. And this is the Windows host file. And what I have here is I have um, localhost mapped to um, 127.0.0.1. Um, this comes by default. And I also have created uh, 15 more here from site 1 to site 15. Now the reason I chose these anonymous names is because for example, this site one right here, um, you know, we could have a site about construction here one time, and then we finish that, and then we put another site about uh, a restaurant. So um, just give these anonymous names, and I think we can remember in our head, um, you know, which site is for uh, which different project. And the good thing about this is we'll never need to change these in the future. So I won't need to change this from the construction name to the uh, restaurant name after we can just leave it as site one and we have spaces for uh, 15 different sites um, that we could work on at the same time and then the next part of this is the um, httpvhost.conf file so um, I'm using XAMPP right now um, let's just try to um, open this up here so inside XAMPP there is the Apache folder inside the Apache folder there is a conf folder, and inside the conf uh, folder, we'll have http.conf. Um, inside this folder, or sorry, inside this file, you want to make sure you're including um, your uh, vhost.conf. Let's see if I can search this here. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure this line is uncommented, and we're including this file. And then we don't need that anymore. I'm just going to go back to my um, folder here. So inside Apache conf folder, then click on extra. And there's an hdbd-confs uh, file. Let's just open that with Notepad++. And you'll see that I've created a number of different virtual hosts here. Um, this first one is uh, working on a Laravel site there. So that is site one. And then I have a whole bunch of other here, um, virtual hosts at site two, site three, site four. So really, we won't need to change this very much. Um, if I have a project, for example, like Laravel, where um, you know, it's not in the root, it's in the Laravel folder and then the public folder. Well, all we have to do is come in and change this, um, change this one line here. One thing that I want to mention if you're using Windows 8 is it's often difficult to edit this host file um, because it's in use by another program. And even if you're logged in as an administrator, um, it's not going to let you change this file. But the way that I did it was I just restarted um, Windows 8 in safe mode and then you can you know add all of these different host records right here and then just restart the computer regularly and then um, you know basically we'll we'll never need to come back to this file because we're just using these anonymous names from site 1 to site 15 and um, so I'm, I'm not planning to come back to this file uh, very much anymore so once you have these set and also you've set up um, as many virtual hosts as you need here. I'm um, just going to go over to my browser here and you'll see in my browser I have site 1, site 2, site 3, site 4. Okay, so as long as you can remember in your head, um, you know, which site 1 is for which site, site 2 is for which site, I think this is going to be a really easy way to do development and we can constantly be switching in new projects and we won't need to be um, changing any of these records. One last thing I'll mention is you need to restart your Apache server um, after you do this. So if you're using XAMPP, you'll just stop and then start it again. And I think this will be a convenient way to be working on a number of different sites at one time and not have to go and be changing um, those host records all the time.